Fascinating facts of the Wild West that no one ever told you. Did you know that Billy the Kid was not left-handed? Far from what people believe. Also, the Wild West show was rumored to have untold stories surrounding it. We will give you all the answers at the end of this video. However, before that, here are the fascinating facts of the Wild West that no one ever told you about before. Let's start with the outlaw who had literally traveled even after his death. Elmer McCurdy died at the shootout in his failed heist in 1911. However, nobody claimed his body, so the funeral decided to preserve it. In the 1920s, his body ended up in carnivals as an odd prop. Never in their wildest imagination, they thought that this would be a real dead body until 1976. He was displayed in several carnivals throughout the country for 56 years and was finally identified in 1977 which put the poor outlaw in his final rest. You would be surprised that aside from horses, camels also roamed the wilderness of the Wild West. The US military thought of solutions for travels, aside from what was known at that time. They needed sturdy mounts to carry their heavy baggage to the south. What they chose was no other than camels. So then the US Camel Corps was established in 1856. Shortly after that, they discontinued the experiment with the unconfirmed reasons and sold the camels in an auction. Before continuing, we would really appreciate a like to this video. If you also want to see similar content in the future, consider subscribing and activating the notification bell. Next, the OK Corral gunfight was never a shootout and didn't even happen in the OK Corral itself. It was believed that the event lasted only 30 seconds, which disqualifies it as a real shootout. However, it was bloody enough since it ended up with three wounded lawmen and three dead outlaws. Also, this happened in the vicinity near the intersection of 3rd Street and Fremont Street, not in OK Corral itself. Then we had Jesse James. People gathered at his funeral when the news of his death was heard. However, you would be shocked since there were two Jesse James buried in two different cemeteries. We all knew he was buried at Kearney Cemetery. However, a man named J. Frank Dalton in 1948 claimed that he was the real Jesse James. The court allowed him to use the famous outlaw's name, but later on, it was confirmed through a DNA test that the real James was indeed in Kearney, but his legacy also lived on Granbury. Billy the Kid was assumed left-handed until experts realized that the tint-type photos of him were developed in reverse. Also, the gun he held was a type of Winchester that looked like its loading gate was on the left side, but it was instead on the right since it was made that way in 1873. With all that said, experts concluded that Billy the Kid was a righty. And the rumors about the Wild West show about its unconfirmed wicked propaganda. Their live shows included reenactments of encounters between the natives and the citizens. However, the American natives were always portrayed as the vicious villains while the American frontiersmen were always the hero that saved the day. Experts believe that this was used to encourage and justify the killings of natives for the westward expansion at that time. If you want to know more about the incredible stories of the Wild West, click the following links for more amazing videos.